Hi everyone, Sal Khan here. I've always been drawn to creative things. I like to see change new things in the world. And because of that, I've been drawn to careers where I can most apply my creativity, especially in an abstract sense. And algebra is perhaps the purest expression of creativity. And that's why I've worked in everything from computer programming to product design to a, a, a hedge fund analyst where you're investing in stocks. And in all of them, it was incredibly creative and used a lot of algebra. But don't take my word for it. You're going to meet some of my friends who can tell you a lot more about the connection between algebra and work and creativity. I think my idea of how creativity works in STEM jobs has changed since I've gotten to college. Like I used to think that like all the mathematicians would be just locked away in some like office and like typing on the computers or writing down equations by themselves and coming up with incredibly beautiful ideas just by themselves. But I'm realizing now that I'm in college that I mathematics and creativity, it's a lot about communication and it's a lot about trying to build off of each other's ideas and bounce idea, ideas off of each other um, and build upon um, ideas that have already been made by people decades ago. Um, and I think that the facts that we all come with it, with our own perspectives and different um, ideas and different ways of being creative, create allows math to advance further because we can all combine our creative ideas into something bigger. We collect data on everything, right? And so the ability to use that data in a smart, safe, and efficient way depends on new applications of mathematical concepts to these new and innovative data sets. Um, as we get to that point, we'll start to be thinking outside the box a lot more uh, and we'll be a much more uh, innovative digital society. But that can't happen unless we start trying to be creative and not just rely on tried and true. Creativity is really important for me as like a future job, as a part of my future job. I would want to um, do something that changes and then I can use problem solving skills constantly. Um, I feel like when I make animations or when I uh, figure out how to explain something, I'm really like that. I love that because it's there's so many different solutions, but knowing that you can try to find and experiment with different ones and maybe create something beautiful is um, really, I don't know, inspiring to me. Mathematicals is an educational initiative that I co-founded with a fellow mathematician, Jess Williams. And what we're trying to do is make maths fun and accessible and encourage more girls to pursue careers in maths. So creativity is essential here because we're trying to think of ways that people will, will enjoy maths and, and it will be fun and accessible to them. So different creative techniques that we've been using are trying to present mathematical problems in fun short videos and um, that explain the problem in a way that everybody will understand and will make them want to learn more and discover more about the topics that we're talking about. I'm really lucky um, that I get to be creative every day uh, in, in my work and I have been since um, I got into this field of data science. So in general, uh, across the last decade, my work has really been about uh, designing and testing innovative ways to capture human behavior within game-based assessments. Um, so my collaborators and I, from the time I was in graduate school to now, use a variety of different modeling techniques from various fields. We'll pull things from engineering, um, aerospace, um, you know, more basic mathematical models to help us achieve this goal. We get to think outside the box. We get to think about how we can pull in different types of thinking from different fields to help us better understand human behavior, human cognition, um, learning. Um, so it's really exciting and really novel. Um, and it's something that because of the field that I'm in, I've been able to do this now for, for multiple years. Whenever I wanna have a, a solution, come up with a solution to a problem and I don't have it, my immediate like reaction is to go outside and go on a walk. Um, and I love walking in all kinds of weather. I, it's kind of, um, it's just, I, I feel like with the peace and calm, like getting away, moving away from the problem and stepping away from it, may, sometimes I get way better ideas and it, and it inspires me. But I also think there's something to be said about 
not being inspired. Like not always as amazing. I feel like sometimes I get struck with inspiration for how I want to explain a Khan Academy video or how I want to approach a piece of art or how I want to um, approach a math problem. But sometimes it doesn't come. And so I feel like what the best solution is when you are trying to get into that creative zone and you can't, is just do it and try to do something anyway. Like write something or write your equations, try to figure it out. And if you make mistakes, that's okay. And because it's something to jump off of. And maybe sometimes seeing what you already know down on paper can help you come up with better ideas um, and can help you be more creative. Forcing yourself to just conjure a solution simply does not work. Instead, take a break from the task. Pick something else up, like uh, physical sport or even video games, and then come back to the original problem. That can do wonders. One of my biggest passions is documentary filmmaking. Um, I've been making videos since I was in middle school. And I remember being really, it was always a challenge because sometimes I wanted to do things, but I didn't have the equipment to do it. Like I really wanted to um, record myself in a certain way, but there was no way for me, for anyone to hold the microphone or I didn't have a dolly or any of the expensive camera equipment. So what I, I, I remember like, I think the most important thing to do is just use what you have. So I would tape like a, a, a cross country ski pole to my ceiling and hold the microphone that way. Um, or I would put my phone, my, a pillow in a box and then speak uh, into the microphone with that as my makeshift like sound studio or uh, make a tripod out of like a, style, a, like a pile of books. Um, and I feel like it's kind of the same with math. Like you are, sometimes you don't know how to solve a really big problem. Um, and you only have the, all the tools you've been taught up to that point. And maybe there is a, like a fancier way of getting to the solution. But a lot of the time, you, it's just about combining things that you already have in your, um, that you've already learned and coming up with a solution that way. And sometimes that, that comes up with some like really creative and unexpected solutions um, to problems. Algebra is really the unifying thread of almost all of mathematics. You may think algebra is boring, but it is the one tool you can use to not only understand, but unlock the universe. Creative algebra is used in computer game design. It uh, powers how artificial intelligence works. Mastering algebra will provide you with the ability to decode and understand many complex systems. In my opinion, if you can master algebra, you can master anything.